Greetings, world. Ars Harry Game Lords this evening. I've been playing this. Llama. Or la la a ma a card game. But what do we think? I doubt. This little game here features a whole load of cards that look like this and a whole load of tokens that look like this. The white tokens are one points, the black tokens are ten points. And there are cards that number one to six and then there are llama cards. Those llama cards reset, thank you very much Pete, there they are, amazing. So what happens is uh, you place down cards on your go, um, so a card is turned over at the beginning and you place either the same card, same number card on top of it or one above. So if there's fours there you can play fours or you can play a five and you keep on going round like that. Uh, if you can't go you pick up a card or if you want to you can fold. And when you fold, you can no longer play that round. And at the end of that round, whatever you've folded with, those points or those cards become points. It's the person with the least amount of points that wins. Uh, and when somebody reaches 40 points, the end of the game is triggered. When everybody's folded, the round finishes. Or when somebody manages to get rid of all of their cards. And if they get rid of all their cards, they can get rid of a token. And that token can either be a white one for one point or a black one for ten points. You choose which one you want to get rid of. Um, also, the great thing is, is that when you fold, if you have multiples of one number or any number, you only score that card once. Nice. So when Dave saw that everybody was got had got loads in their hand and several people had obviously got llamas, he chose to hold onto to fold with a handful of sixes. Dave. Such a Dave move. These bad boys as well, I've not said. You got one of these in your hand? Ten points at the end. Ouch. So, uh, simple, simple game. And it plays from two to six. What did I think? Well, uh, I love it. I love this game. I love a lot of these games that, have, that are little boxes like this with some cards in. So there's like No Thanks, great game. Uh, there's Six Nymphs, great game. There's, I would even say Monopoly Deal. Mm. Although it's got the title of Monopoly, it's a good game. It's the only Monopoly I would ever play. But this game, so, so nice. Really like the way that you can... I played this with my eight-year-old daughter. She loves it and she got it and she was just like, this is brilliant. So you can play it as a gateway game but also it keeps gamers busy and around the table as well. It's clever uh, and it plays really quick. It's a filler game. It's one of those fillers that you think you can play really quickly in about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. And then you're like, shall we play again? And that's what happened tonight. <laughs> filler game that can actually take over the whole night because you love playing it so much. This hairy game, Lord. Absolutely loved it. Peter hits the king, and with my thoughts on Alarm in the Card Game, loving the artwork. Yay! <laughs> just throw that in for Ange, because he forgot. Um, oh, just brilliant. Really, really simple. Yeah, um, I was rubbish at it. I was second last, and then last. Um, <laughs> but I reckon... Um, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> but um, it doesn't matter. It's one of because it's fifteen minutes, so it doesn't matter. You know, you've not invested your whole life in losing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> could see it is. Andy's absolutely right. You could play this with family, friends, uh, people who haven't played any games before, and it's just so so simple, but so much fun. Um, the feeling when you are able to. Like get rid of all your cards and go straight out is amazing. I did it once in the first round when I had no counters to get rid of, so <laughs> it still felt Yay! joyous. Um, and you kind of, you know, everybody else takes a lot of points as a result of that, so there's still that. But doing it later in the game would definitely have been even better. So definitely check this one out. These little fun card games 
you can you can have four or five of these in carrying in your pocket in your bag or whatever dead easy not having to sort of transport huge amounts of games around and you're gonna have a lot of fun whenever you play it absolutely brilliant Slightly nerdy, James here. So, Llama, I've heard about <laughs> Llama before. Llama is one of these games which gets banded around as a, as a, as a great little game. I was like, I don't know. Um, when you see card games like this, I don't know, when you play a lot of games, you want to play big, chunky games. You want to get your teeth into something. You want to play something that's going to burn your brain. But I would recommend this to anyone, to get this on your shelf. Because uh, it is such a good laugh. It is really good, like, very cleverly thought out little game, which has um, just brought so much joy around the table tonight. And swearing. Um, yeah. and there was a little swearing, not on my part, because my mouth is clean. Um, <laughs> but this game is uh, it's just such a joy to play. So as you're trying to get your... Um, as you're trying to get your cards down, you're watching what's going around. And at first I was like, oh yeah, you just play the play the right card at the right time. But then you get to a certain point, you're like, right, do I want to hold on to this card for when it comes around again? And I might need to play a lower card? Or do I try and get rid of this card so that I can hopefully get it? Um, oh my goodness. I think my favourite moment of this game was um, me and Andrew across the table from each other. And everybody one by one placing their cards down on the table and I've got a hand with three llamas in it and just some shrapnel and Andrew is like also picking up and picking up just like me getting full cards hand worth of uh, like random stuff and we're just waiting for this flipping six that Dave wouldn't put down and eventually the seal was broken Andrew put a six down and when you get to that point in the game everyone's played themselves out you can if you're the last person in just keep going without drawing and I managed to empty my entire hand onto the table and lose my six, my 10 points at the end. It was just such a great moment. So I, like, I don't know. I think this is just pure joy in a box. Um, if you've been putting off playing this tiny little game, you should definitely try it out because it is so much fun. Um, yeah, I recommend this to, I'd say, pretty much anyone. Anyone could enjoy this. Hi, Dave the Grey. Now, I'll be honest with you, little box, some kind of goofy artwork, and some cards with numbers on. Um, I wasn't expecting a great deal from this. Doesn't happen very often. It is the uh, 4th of July. Write that da date down, because I was wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, my I God. was, I was wrong. Um, this is an absolutely epic game um considering it is a card with a goofy picture of a llama and some numbers the tension of <laughs> i've got one five three sixes in my hand six 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 <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and at the moment we're on twos and there's three people to go so either Please, please let him put down a three, then a four, then another four, and then I can play my... Oh, no, I've got... <laughs> it, it is absolutely awesome. And, yeah, we played it twice. Um, needed to play it again. I did very badly, I'll be honest with you, and I'm the one with the potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> You'd never have guessed it from this, you know, youthful, innocent visage. Um, James might have a clean mouth, he's not got clean ears. <laughs> <laughs> However, with that, my hand of three sixes, I was just about to play one of my sixes and I could see everybody else suddenly start going, <laughs> so I folded, none of them could play their llamas, it was a beautiful moment. So yeah, dead small box, dead simple game, but so much fun in such a small box. Give it a try, two thumbs up. People of the earth, I sit before you as the undisputed champion <laughs> No one can beat me. Ooh. This game, oh my days, so simple, but yet so fun. So many laughs going on, so many salty tears, so many swear words, so many ears defiled by bad language. It's fun for all the family. Get involved. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>